Hey, it's Colleen. In this video, we're going to talk through how to connect your calendar and walk through all of your meeting settings. So step one is connecting your calendar. To get to that area of your settings, you'll click on your Drift profile picture and go to settings. From there, you'll click on meetings. If your calendar is not already connected, you'll see the option here to connect your calendar. So if I go ahead and click on that, we'll see that there's two options to connect your calendar. You can connect through Google Calendar or you can connect through Office 365. I'm going to go ahead and select Google Calendar. From there, I'll just select my email and then hit allow so Drift can access my calendar. From there, I'll hit continue. And then right now, I'm gonna go ahead and view my calendar settings so I can make sure all of my preferences are set up correctly. Meeting types is where you'll be able to create different types of calendar invites and customize based on things like duration, the name of the invite, as well as any team members you would like to include on that invite. So for example, you might want to have a meeting type for a 15 minute discovery call or maybe an hour long demo. So this is where you'll be able to create those type of meetings. For example, if we go to new meeting type and build one from scratch, you'll see two options. You can either create a one-on-one -on -one meeting. So for example, if you just want yourself to be on the meeting, Group means you'll be able to include yourself and maybe another member of your team that you would like to include on the call. For this example, we'll select one-on-one -on -one, and we'll name this discovery call. And we'll go ahead and create new meeting type. And here's where you can select all of the specific settings. The first setting is the duration of the meeting. Let's go ahead and select 15 minutes. From there, we'll be able to customize the location and the description. So the location is a really great spot to utilize for anything like a Zoom call or any other virtual conference platform you might use because that means it'll automatically pop up in the calendar invite so you don't have to manually do it for every single meeting. The next piece here is the description where you can add any details that will also pop up on the calendar invite. So for example, for a discovery call, I would maybe include the three questions that I plan on asking a prospect. And then the last thing you'll want to do on this page before we can save the invite is just customize this meeting link. So I'll go ahead and just call it 15 minutes and then I'll hit save. From there, we can see that is now populated in my meeting types. Now we'll move on to the calendar settings. So the main thing here is how you can set your availability and set the windows that you want to allow prospects or customers to book a time with you. So the first thing is you can set your time zone and the most important piece here is your availability. So you can see I have mine set to weekdays nine to five, but if you only wanted to have people book meetings with you on Monday and Wednesday, for example, you can customize that by going to add availability and you can see here you can select specific days. You can also change the time frame a little bit. So if you wanted to narrow this down to 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., for example, you can adjust that here. Next, you'll see you can also adjust your minimum notice time and your buffer in between meetings. Minimum notice time is the amount of time you're allowing before a meeting can be scheduled. So for example, I have mine set to one day, meaning someone can book a meeting with me tomorrow. Versus if I had it set to 30 minutes, that means someone could book a meeting with me 30 minutes from now if I was available on my calendar. The next thing is the buffer time between meetings. So this is where you can prevent having back-to-back -back meetings if that's your choice. So you can select 15 minutes or 30 minutes to make sure you have a little bit of a buffer. The next setting I'll call out here is allowing guests to cancel or reschedule their meeting. So when this is turned on, anyone that books a meeting with you can automatically reschedule on their own. When it's turned off, they're not allowed to reschedule and they'll have to email you to get the meeting adjusted. Below that, we'll see all of the assistant settings. This is where you can play around with automatic emails that you can have Drift send on your behalf. So you can send reminder emails and confirmation emails, and you have the ability to customize all of these once they're turned on. So you can go ahead and click on customize to actually adjust what all of that text says in that email. And that's how you connect your calendar to Drift and set up all of your meeting settings. 